There are many absolutely amazing things that happen in the world. Once you go into the infinite darkness, you won't be able to depend on gravity, direction, or even time. So the fact that there are some strange planets in the world shouldn't be a surprise. With each place being stranger than the last, these places are real fantasy worlds from our point of view here on Earth. On the other hand, they give astronomers interesting information about how the world is put together and how it works. Here are just some of the most horrifying planets scientists have discovered so far. Waste 12 bits, the doomed egg planet, giant wasps, and other kinds of life from other planets are not found in WASP 12 bits. There is no doubt that the world will end very soon. The WASP 12 bits gas giant is a very big gas giant that is twice as big as Jupiter. It was found in 2008. The thing that makes this planet stand out is that it is made like an egg instead of the more or less spherical shape that most planets have. This is because the star it circles has such a strong pull on the planet that it makes it stretch. Pieces of WASP 12 bits are being torn apart by the star slowly but surely. It will only have taken a short time to use up all of WASP 12 bits. 30 million years is a very short amount of time in the grand scheme of things, so nothing will be left to show that the planet was ever there. HG 189,733 bits, death by a billion cuts. From far away, the gas giant HD 189,733 bits looks like it is more than just friendly. This is a blue world that almost begs you to park a spaceship on it, just like Earth does, as long as it's not gaseous. You would quickly come to regret it, though, if you did try it. First, the death world would take away your spaceship. Next, it would take away your spacesuit. Finally, it would take away your skin. Broken pieces of glass are mixed in with HG 189,733 bits as clouds. In addition, the Earth's atmosphere is constantly being hit by huge storms with winds that can reach 5,400 miles per hour. Because of the wind, the pieces of glass are moving side to side through the air. Though you might be able to get away from the attack, the planet's temperature of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit would surely kill you from the heat. Kepler 70 bits, the hell planet. The third planet, Kepler 70 bits, is different from the first two in that it is a terrestrial planet with a solid surface. So it says that a spaceship can be parked on it, right? It's possible to try, but you would get badly burned before you even got close to its surroundings. A planet called Kepler 70 bits has been found to be one of the hottest. Its surface temperature is 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is higher than the sun's temperature. At one point, the planet crashed into its star headfirst. The star is now dead, which is why the world is so hot. Even though most planets would have been destroyed, Kepler 70 bits made it through the fire, though it has burned scars and looks like it's on fire. The Earth is actually getting so hot that it is slowly losing its water supply. It's possible that one day there will be no planets left. All that will be left is gas moving through space. PSR B1257 plus 12 bits, an irradiated zombie world. The place you've come to is one of the most dangerous in the whole world. The name of this small, hard planet that goes around a pulsar is PSR B1257 plus 12 bits. The magnetic poles of pulsars are what send out beams of very strong radiation. As these beams move over the surface of PSR B1257, 257 plus 12 bits and its two sister planets, they always change the surface. A dead and empty rock is the only thing that can be found on PSR B1257 plus 12 bits. Being exposed to radiation all the time has made it almost impossible to reproduce. There was a change to the name of PSR B1257 plus 12 bits in 2015. It was named Draugr by the International Astronomical Union. In Norse mythology, Draugr is a beast that represents the dead. This is a name that sounds properly scary. Kepler 36 bits and Kepler 36 t. Close siblings. There is a real planet called Kepler 36 bits that is about four times bigger than Earth. It also has a twin called Kepler 36 e that orbits the same star at a distance almost the same as its personal distance. In this case, it means that two planets often crash into each other very close together.
Since they are only five times farther apart than Earth and the Moon, they can pass each other once every 97 days. It's hard to think that they are related because they are so different from each other. But Kepler-36c is a gas giant the size of Neptune, while Kepler-36bits is a planet that is made of rock and dirt. They are not getting along with each other well. Huge eruptions of volcanoes happen when the two planets pass each other because their gravity poles are so strong. Both are also very close to their star, which means they are almost always on fire. There is a big difference between the two. Even so, if you could handle the high heat, earthquakes and volcanoes, seeing the sibling planet pass would be a breathtaking experience when seen from the surface of their own bodies. TWI 849 bits, a burnt rock with no atmosphere. The atmosphere of a planet is usually present, no matter how strange the world is. Even though it could be made up of dangerous and deadly chemicals, there is usually some kind of gas gathered around a planet. This is not the case with TOI 849 bits. Because of where the building is, it can't have an aura. It only takes TOI 849 bits less than a day to go around its star once because they are so close to each other. On the surface of TOI 849 bits, the star's radiation and heat kill everything and everyone. It is interesting to note that TOI 849 bits should be called a gas giant because it is three times the width of Earth and 40 times heavier. However, it is not possible for it to do so because the star gets rid of all the gas on TOI 849 bits. Gliese 1132 bits, the planet that grew a second atmosphere. An artist's impression of Gliese 1132b, an exoplanet whose atmosphere was taken away and then formed a new atmosphere in a very unusual way. There are a lot of ways that the planet Gliese 1132 looks a lot like Earth. Its radius and mass are both only slightly bigger than each other. It is about 4.5 billion years old, which is about the same age as our world. There is one big difference between this world and the others, though, it orbits much closer to its red dwarf parent star and finishes its trip in just 1.6 days through Earth's time. Because it is so close to Earth, Gliese 1132 it has a surface temperature that is 278 degrees Fahrenheit, 137 degrees Celsius, which is well above ours. Because the exoplanet is hit by very strong radiation, its atmosphere is being eaten away. Even so, astronomers have recently made the shocking finding that Gliese 1132 is going through something very strange. The planet is squeezed and stretched by the huge gravitational pull of its star which is 20% bigger than the Sun. This flexing is what brings gases to the Earth's surface and starts very active volcanoes. Scientists at NASA say that these gases are helping to make a second atmosphere around the Earth, but because of where it came from, the reground atmosphere also gives astrogeologists a unique chance to look into the chemical makeup of an exoplanet indirectly. That this is interesting in and of itself is because scientists have never seen anything like this before. As we leave the scary worlds of the horrifying planets, their nightmarish dreams leave an indelible mark on our trip through space. Let's remember that the world is a tapestry of beauty and terror as we go through the quiet after effects. Until our next trip into the unknown of space, may the stars lead us through wonder and chills. Safe travels, cosmic explorers, and thank you so much for watching this video.